Hello everyone, it's me Himanshu and welcome to Ramble and Curry. Today let me take you to Ravelo, which is also known as the Balcony of Amalfikos. Unlike most of the towns of Italy's Amalfikos, Ravelo is not located by the sea, but it has the most spectacular view of the coastline and is a treasure trove of art and culture. I would also like to request everyone to subscribe to the channel as there are many more videos coming up in future. And by subscribing, you will be notified whenever there is a new video uploaded. Like and share the video with friends and family. And most importantly, do leave your feedback in the comment section. So without further ado, let's get started. Reaching Ravello is most convenient by buses from Amalfi, as there are buses every hour. Ravello is the hidden treasure of the Amalfi coast, perched on a hilltop more than 1200 feet above the Mediterranean, and far removed from the crowds that folks to the sea town of Amalfi and Positano. Its villas and vistas have enchanted visitors for centuries. Famous actors, authors, composers, and artists have come here for refuge and inspiration. It has also been named as City of Music as it hosts many musical concerts. Its scenic location makes it a popular tourist destination and earns its listing as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1997. The town is surrounded by many small shops which showcases local ceramic art. Ravello was founded in the 5th century as a sheltered place against the barbarian invasions which marked the end of the Western Roman Empire. Even in 1944 during World War II, the King of Italy lived in Ravello while waiting to go back to Rome. Ravello is a resort town which homes the amazing cliffside gardens and showcases beautiful vegetations and lemon plantation. Villa Kimborne, which consists of the main building and about 6 hectares of historical parkland, is considered one of the most important examples of the landscape, botany and the culture of England created in the Mediterranean area between the end of 19th and beginning of the 20th century. The villa, altered and extended in the early 20th century by Ernest William Beckett, the villa is today composed of many salvaged architectural elements from other parts of Italy and elsewhere, 
little of the original structures remained visible. With its expensive garden and dramatic views, the villa is a popular place for wedding, honeymoons and reception. The villa is a private five-star hotel, but the gardens are open to the public and it ranks perhaps as the most memorable site of the Amalfi Coast. For more updates, please follow me in my Instagram and do not forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so that you are notified when a new video is available. The statue of Ceres, also known as the Goddess of Harvest, marks the beginning of Terrace of Infinity. The spectacle which a splendid incomparable natural balcony adorned with 18th century marbles bus opens before the unbelievable eyes of visitors. Truly comprehend something in finite but any adjective to try and somehow describe this miracle of nature is ineffective. The remarkable day is ended with Italian pizza, an open-air jazz concert. Mm -hmm.